Hey there, scholars. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment to briefly introduce our grammar program that we'll be using this year. Um, and then in the next video, I will, we will be doing our chapter one lesson. Uh, so this is well-ordered language. It is our grammar program we will be using throughout the year. Um, I suggest you take a little bit of time to explore the book before you jump right in. There's lots of great resources in here that I wanted to show you. So first off is our table of contents. This tells me uh, where every, what is in the book and then where to find them. Um, so anytime I ask you to go look at the glossary, it's going to be a, um, you can find it in here. So glossary of turns, page 187. There's some great biographies in this book, um, and we'll, we have chants and songs, um, so the lyrics for that are going to be found here, and I'll be posting uh, the songs on Google Classroom for you to practice and follow along. All right, so I want to take a moment. Let's go look at the back of the book. That's where a lot of the great information is going to be. Um, so if you go to the very back, um, this is different poems um, and some great liter literature um, that can be found in this book. So um, these are some great things to read through if you are looking for things to read. Um, this is a great spot. Um, if we go to our next section, We have the section biographies, meet the authors. Um, there are stories throughout this book, and these are the authors that wrote them. If you're cur curious about each of them, you can find out um, more about them um, in these brief biographies. And then one of my favorite places, um, because I th always think it is such a helpful tool, is the glossary of terms. You're going to be asked on multiple occasions to write out the definition of um, a word. This is where you can find all those. They have every term that we use for the book. They even have terms uh, for things that we um, might not cover in fourth grade, but you will in fifth and sixth grade. And then lastly, um, is our section about the song lyrics. So um, I'm going to be posting uh, the um, songs on cl Google Classroom. So if you want to, uh, and you're going to have to be singing along with them. Um, so this is a great spot to find the lyrics to those to help memorize. All right. Uh, after this video, I suggest you um, go through, check out, um, a couple of the things and before we go I wanted us to read through together an introduction to students um, just to get an idea of what this book is about. So imagine receiving an amazing model of a castle, a pirate ship, or a spaceship. What would it look like? Imagine that this model is already constructed from hundreds of Legos of all colors and shapes. It even includes gizmos and gadgets. It is marvelous. What would you do with it? Probably, after you set it on the table to admire it for a while, your curiosity will get the best of you, wouldn't it? Perhaps you would break the model apart into pieces to see how it's put together, how it's constructed. While doing that, you might scribble notes to remember your pe where, which pieces fit to which part, or you might draw a picture to help you understand it further. Then you would rebuild it. That's what you do when you analyze sentences. You take something amazing, a thought or a, an idea, which has been constructed into something marvelous, a sentence. You break it apart into words. You name the part of speech of each word. You would identify how the part of speech, uh, parts of the sentence work together. You mark them with 
symbols, arrows, and show how they connect to each other. Then, just as you might draw a picture of the model castle or spaceship, you draw the sentence. That's what you do when, you're diagram, when you diagram a sentence. You draw the sentence parts using horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines to show the connections between those parts. The lines of the diagram help you understand the idea in the sentence. The complete thought expressed in the sentence becomes a blueprint for everyone you see, everyone to see. A sentence isn't something to just set on the shelf to admire. It is something to experience. Analyzing and diagramming are tools that bring order to thought. Humans need to analyze and diagram in order to understand, to plan, to act, to build. Consider the instructions for making model airplanes maps for finding destinations, blueprints for building houses, medical sketches for learning anatomy, storyboards for producing movies. In short, there are plans and illustrations for just about every activity. Analyzing and diagramming are skills in which in well-ordered language, level one, you learned analysis, the skill of breaking a sentence into parts and thoroughly understanding those parts. Here in well-ordered language level two, you will add to, the, to it another skill, diagramming. Both analyzing and diagramming are skills that help you know how language works. With pen and paper, you can go far beyond the limitations of plastic bricks. With the skills you learn in well-ordered language, you will you can build almost anything you imagine because you are building with words. All right, and then we will be looking at chapter one in our next video.